Well, I think, I think the biggest thing for um, pharmaceutical and biotech uh, companies is to think about not necessarily the dissemination of a message, but as a way to start a relationship with key publics and key stakeholders. Um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of what goes on with industry science in relationship to the public is a matter of trust building and relationship building. Um, and that can be done through uh, trans transparency and accessibility to information, uh, but also engaging in dialogue. Um, the type of um, town meetings, uh, science cafes, where um, uh, interested members of the public can turn out and hear about the science that goes on um, uh, at pharmaceutical companies and, and biotechnology companies, um, but also, also hear from experts who are experts on uh, the ethics involved, the regulation that's involved, and the policy and the legal issues. And not just hear from them, but also present their own viewpoints and enter into a conversation. Uh, not only is it informational, but it's relationship building, and it can also be fun. Uh, I've, also, I've also suggested I think documentary film is a good way to present the complexity of a lot of these uh, scientific, regulatory, and ethical questions. Um, and documentary film can be used in these type of town hall meetings where people uh, come out, watch a short documentary film that presents the complexity of these issues and maybe kind of shows multiple perspectives from patients and uh, from uh, companies, from scientists, and then have a panel and kind of town hall meeting discussion uh, about the issues that were raised uh, in the documentary film. Well, you know, I, I think um, that's uh, uh, the uh, direct-to-consumer -to uh, marketing is um, very good for getting, uh, getting the attention of patients and increasing awareness about the availability of certain types of drugs. Uh, and certainly they're going to pay attention to it if that drug is specific to something that uh, uh, they might have um, uh, uh, related to a disease or that they might suffer from or a family member might su suffer from. Um, on the other hand, I'm not sure what it does in terms of enhancing the public perception of the pharmaceutical industry relative to uh, regulation uh, or re relative to public policy uh, or in terms of trust or relationship building. And I think um, other mechanisms and uh, other modes of communication are definitely needed in, 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 to achieve those goals. Well, you know, I think, you know, in, in the short term, uh, what we can do with an adult population that, are, that is done with their formal education um, is we can figure out a way to use the media uh, to engage with them, uh, to present complex issues in ways that they understand and that matters to them, that's personally relevant. Uh, that's probably the best we can do. But in the long term, uh, we need to certainly continue to invest in really strong formal education and science um, about the scientific method, about the facts and the context and the history of science. Uh, but also, I think at the college level especially, um, students need to learn about the sociology of science, the role that the institution of science plays in our society, how it's funded, the politics of science, um, kind of the social side of how science is done. Um, you know, scientists work within institutions, institutions have their own imperatives. Um, and also a media literacy component. How does the media cover science? What are really good sources to read and enjoy science once you're done with your formal education in science? And in that way, we're achieving two things. One, we're providing a college-educated American public um, with the context that they need to be scientific citizens, to make informed choices about science policy. Uh, but the second thing that we're doing is we're actually socializing uh, college students into enjoying and understanding where they can follow science once the four science courses they might take as a non-major are over. Uh, and that could be the New York Times, that could be popular science books, that could be magazines like Seed Magazine or Scientific American.